Later this week, three new gun laws are set to take effect in California, one of the rare instances in this country of a state actually responding to the mass shootings that seem to happen almost every day, certainly every week recently. Uh, now we've got three here. Uh, Assembly Bill uh, 1014 will allow family members who believe a loved one is a danger to himse himself slash herself or others to seek a temporary gun violence restraining order. The legislation will give police the authority to seize that person's legally owned weapons for 21 days without his or her prior knowledge. Now, so basically, if you think that someone in your family has guns and could be violent in the near future, this would allow the police to actually do something about it. And there's a reason that they have passed this law. It was enacted in response to the 2014 uh, uh, Isla Vista mass shootings that left six people dead and 14 others wounded. Before the rampage, gunman Elliot Rogers' parents raised concerns about their son's mental health. Santa Barbara County Sheriff's deputies said that despite the uh, parents' warnings, they had no legal authority to search Roger's apartment. And the reason why I love this, now understand the right absolutely hates this. This is all over the, the NRA blogs and the right-wing blogs saying that they're coming to take away your guns. They're coming to take away your guns because your family thinks that you're going to kill yourself or other people. The reason I love this is because we recently had the case of the San Bernardino shooters. And Trump and all the right-wing is saying uh, people had these concerns about them, but they didn't say anything. So let's say they had said something, and they told the cops, I think these people have guns, I think they're going to do something, they're going to harm people. They're saying they should have reported them, and then the cops would have done what? What does the right wing want the cops to do then? Certainly Nothing. not take their guns away. No way. This is exactly what you should want if you're scared about terrorists potentially gunning down people. But you, on the right, you want the police to have no authority whatsoever to actually act on the concerns that you yourself are raising. And all this time, what do they tell us? No, no, we want to do something about the mass shootings. We got to do something about mental health. So now here's family members yes. saying, I'm worried about the mental health of people I love, that they might do damage to you or someone else. Come please help me take their guns for a while, okay, until we figure out what's going on here and get back on track. Yeah. And now that we're doing something about mental health, how dare you? No, you see that? You didn't want to do anything about mental health. You didn't want to do anything about nope. the mass shootings. You just don't want us to take any action because the more mass shootings there are, you actually don't view that as bad news for the NRA. They view that honestly as good news because they represent the gun manufacturers. That's where they get a ton of money from. And the gun manufacturers make more money after mass shootings because everybody gets panicked. We've yeah. done this report before. Gun sales spiked. They've spiked massively in 2015. Just because, this year, yeah. Just this year because there's so many mass shootings and it's in the news. Everybody's panicked and they get their own guns. Yeah. And the NRA thinks, mmm, that is fantastic news for our bottom line. So that's why they fight yeah. things like this because they don't mind the mass shootings. That's more money for them. Yeah. yeah. Terrorist attacks in America, a nice silver lining for the gun manufacturers that they get to make a little bit more money. And, um, and you know what? <laughs> this is the minimum of what we can do. So thank God California is doing this. Look, do I want to take, quote unquote, your guns away? Well, it depends. So I believe that the local areas should make the laws, right? So if you live in Montana and you want to have laws that are more permissive of rifles, okay, I get it. It's democracy. You want to do that? I don't think you have a constitutional right to it because you, you're not part of a well-regulated militia and you know it, but you can go cry about that all day long. Okay. Yeah. So now, uh, but I say, okay, Montana wants to pass those laws because they, I, I knew uh, kids when I was in c college who used to, were from Texas would literally, have, so they were poor and they had to hunt for food. Yeah. And so I don't want to take their guns. The way I get it, Texas can make those laws, Montana can make those laws. But if I, if in my neck of the woods, in, in, I live in a big city, I live in Los Angeles. Hell yeah, take your guns away. Yeah. I, I'd say, look, you have a right to own a gun, but it's going to be locked up in a super safe place, really well guarded. And when you want to go hunting or do something legal with your gun, then you can come and take it for the day and then take it out. But I'm not going to let you take it home where you're accidentally going to kill your kid or your kid's going to accidentally yeah. kill one of your other kids. And then uh, two terrorists are going to get a hold of it and kill 14 people in San Bernardino. I'm not going to let you do that. Yeah. So this is the minimum, minimum. I would do much worse. So if you say, oh, you liberals, I know you want to take my guns away. Well, if you live by me, yeah, I want to take your guns away so you don't murder me or my family. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So go cry about that. Yeah. Oh, no, boo-hoo, he wants to take my guns away so I can't murder people. I know, defend yourself. Yeah, there's a lot of defending going on in the mass shootings. Yeah. So what happened there? No, no, no. no it's, there is like... 
barely. I mean, the right wing looks for it every day. They're like, oh, give me one story where somebody actually used a gun in self-defense. Yeah. And there's like one or maybe two a year. And they're like, yes, I we found one. one but honestly, year. I look, I look, I can't find any. Yeah. So yeah, you can find one or two. I'm sure you will. They're like, like 1987, there was a dad who defended his family in a cabin somewhere. Yeah. Okay. A Johns okay. Hopkins college kid killed a robber with a samurai sword. I don't want people walking around with samurai swords every day. Right. Tiny, tiny instances of that, giant instances. You know how many people get shot and killed by guns every day in America? 90. You think all 90 yeah. were because were robbers who were coming in to rape your wife and you killed them? Yeah, robbers no. are just inept. They, that's lately. your twisted fantasy, man. Yeah. No, the 90 get shot by, co uh, by uh, uh, guns, uh, and most of them, unfortunately, are tragic. Tragic, having nothing to do with self-defense. We're killing ourselves. Yeah. So yes, at a bare minimum, if a family member says, for God's sake, I love this person, this is my kid, this is my grandmother, whatever it is, but they're going to use the gun in a yeah. bad way, we, we got to allow the cops to come in and go, hey, let's cool down. Let's take these for, for a little while. Three weeks. Okay, let's take this for a little while and then get you some help. Yeah. And cops, please don't come in shooting. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, please. So, so they... Oh God, the that's, probably, that's probably going to happen. Yeah, and the right wing will flip sure. out over that because they don't care about the shootings. No, they, they don't, don't care. care about they don't care them. about the mental health. They don't care about all those dead people. The cops that get shot in the shootings, Planned Parenthood, cop gets shot. They don't care about the cops okay. getting shot. They about don't the care event. about any of that. All they care about is nobody's taking my weapon away because I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. Yeah. You're driven by your cowardice. Yeah. Admit it. Yeah, the, the mental health, man, like, they don't want to expand background checks to include online and private party. I, and one of the main reasons we have those background checks is so that absolutely insane people don't get guns. They don't want to expand it, so shut up about the mental health. Uh, now, the second one, uh, the second law, Bill uh, 707, would ban gun owners from carrying concealed handguns at K-12 schools and colleges. It's already illegal to possess a firearm within 1,000 feet of those places, but uh, earlier it exempted people with concealed carry permits. So... Uh, again, right wing, absolutely furious about this. They're saying that uh, people are going to go there to shoot it up now because they're gun-free zones. As if any robber, if any any terrorist or any mass shooter had ever gone to a place, not because it has some sort of special connection to his life and his history, but purely because it's a gun-free zone. That's what they think, and uh, they're probably going to hate this as a result of that. I'm thrilled by it. I live in California. I don't want anybody with a gun anywhere uh, near my kid's school. Yeah. Yes. Uh, could it be that a deranged person goes in their school? Unfortunately, in America, since we're in an ocean of guns, it is possible. Uh, but in order to guard against that, do I want other idiot dads and moms at uh, my kids' schools? They're all lovely people, but there'll be an idiot among them. Okay? <laughs> do I want them all walking in half cocked with their guns? No. Like, oh, I'm ready, man! I'm ready into my kids' kindergarten school. No, fuck off! You're not ready. You don't know what the hell you're doing. And take your goddamn gun and go home. Yeah. Okay? So g God bless California for proposing these laws. Exactly. And the final one uh, will not allow uh, pellet, BB, or airsoft guns to be displayed in public unless they're pink, red, or other bright colors. So they're not mistaken for the real thing. Uh, I, I love the idea. I, I find guns to be interesting in video games. I'm sure as a kid I probably had some guns. It's too bad that we can't live in a country where you can have a realistic looking gun, I guess, because the cops will shoot you if you have it outside, apparently, as well, long as you're not white. Uh, uh, by the way, legal analyst Steve Meister said, maybe we as a society can uh, do you a favor and make you carry around something that will give a cop a split second to maybe uh, to make a choice to not kill you. Yeah. So think about that. So he's in favor of the law. He's saying, look, you make it pink, and the cop's going to pause for a second before he kills you. Yeah. What kind of a sick society do we have to live in that we have to tell the cops, hey, pause for a second before you kill the people that you ostensibly went to help at some point. You don't know who they are, right? Yeah. You don't know if it's the bad guy or the good guy. I mean, these are kids we're talking about. Well, but hey, make sure your kids' toy guns are pink or red so the cop pauses for a Briefly. second before he murders your kids. Yeah. Okay, thank you. We really appreciate that. So but he doesn't mean harm by this. Yeah, the legal analyst doesn't mean harm. He's on the right side. Yeah. But he is unfortunately accurately describing the state of our society today. Yeah. Like w watch out for the criminals and definitely watch out yeah. for the cops.